Even Borough Hall is sporting green today. It's the annual St. Patrick's Day breakfast put on by the oldest and the largest Catholic Irish organization in America called the Ancient Order of Hibernians. Cade Millefalter, for those of you that's not Irish, that means 100,000 welcomes. The breakfast, run for years by local Hibernian leader Al O'Hagan, honors exceptional community members of Irish descent. The main honoree of the breakfast, declared Irish Man of the Year, is none other than current news director Ed Wilkinson. It's a great privilege to be uh, chosen as the Irishman of the Year. I was uh, very taken back when Al O'Hagan called me, but uh, it's a great privilege and an honor. We honor each year a man who was outstanding in the Irish community, and I don't think we could find a more outstanding person than Ed Wilkinson. He's a great editor, great writer, and uh, I'm proud to call him a friend, and I'm so happy he accepted this award. This is our way of saying thank you very much for being just a great human being. Please come up for the proclamation. Ed Wilkinson has been impacting his community for decades. He started work in Catholic media 44 years ago, writing sports for the tablet newspaper of the Brooklyn Diocese. When I first started at the tablet, I had a manual typewriter, and they didn't, have, they didn't have, give me a phone even, so uh, <laughs> I had to go out into the hallway to get a phone. You know. Armed with his typewriter and a camera, Ed worked his way up to become sports editor, and eventually editor of the entire tablet newspaper. Every time you go to an affair, you'll see Ed with the his photography, <laughs> and uh, you'll see it in the tablet the next week. Ed has made the tablet one of the finest Catholic publications in the, in the state and in the country. He spreads good news through the tablet of all the works of the, of the diocese, and he's dedicated, he's a good family man, a good, a good Catholic. In 1989, the tablet began a weekly television segment on the Catholic station of Brooklyn, then called the Prayer Channel. And for 18 years, sitting in the interview chair was the tablet editor. His name was Ed Wilkinson. For the past 18 years, it has been my privilege to sit in this chair, and I do mean this very chair, and conduct interviews for Tablet Week in Review. The Prayer Channel became Net Television, and just a few years later, Ed Wilkinson took the reins as Current's news director. With Net, uh, he has added so much to it. Uh, I, I see a lot of his uh, interviews with Bishop DiMazio, and uh, he's done a wonderful job there. And he also, also, he happens to be a great guy. And I think that's one of the characteristics of, of Irish Americans. We, we realize that in, uh, in, order to, uh, in order to achieve our own salvation, we have to step outside and serve other people help other men and women. He's always out there pushing, you know, things for different people, also helping people, and uh, he's a respected individual. I would like to think that in my 40 plus years of uh, uh, working at the tablet and in Catholic communications, that if in some way that I have contributed to the, to the common good and, and served other people, then I will have lived up to my Irish American heritage. Recognized as Grand Marshal of the Bay Ridge St. Patrick's Day Parade in 2007, and now Irish Man of the Year, with four decades of service to our diocese, he certainly has. He's early at every function that he's covering or engaged in, and you can always rely on Ed to be there. Reporting for Currents with the Irish Man of the Year, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh. And I'm Ed Wilkinson wishing all of you a happy St. Patrick's Day.